Let's go under the awning with Matthew Boyd, courtesy of Mary Grove Awnings. Matthew, always good to visit with you. How do you think uh, your outing went today? Hey, guys. Um, it was good. Um, you know, it's, it, you got to gotta love outings where you go out there and then you got to make an adjustment. Uh, they they came out there, uh, you know, just waiting for the heat or attacking. So, you know, we had to counter and start using the off-speed stuff in the zone. And uh, it was a lot of fun. So it was, uh, it was a good outing and, uh, you know, another way to grow. A.J. Hinch said the key to you is, is the shape of your breaking ball and getting leverage counts. How do you think you've, uh, you've made that adjustment this year from last? Um, well, last year I was behind in the count more than I was ahead, and uh, that's not a recipe for success. And you know, and and then the shape of the breaking ball was another thing, and and that was, uh, you know, usually due to my to my my, my delivery. Uh, delivery couldn't I was just wasn't able to repeat it last year for a couple of reasons. So um, with that, it was um, you know going out there, and uh, it's that, that that's just been the adjustment is attack and strike one, um, being able to hold my delivery. You know, see, like today, seeing the sliders, uh, the swings that they were taking on the sliders that are in the zone, but also, you know, starting as a strike and finishing as a strike has kind of tell us the shape is in the right spot, and uh, it, it was it, it was good. So, you know, we're just working to get it better every single day. Now, Matt, I noticed, you know, and that that's a good plan, but if they're ambushing you, like you said, you've got to make a, make good pitches. It, it seemed like you're missing trying to, you're trying to get the ball in sometimes and raise your and you're missing a way is that the kind of adjustment you're talking about or w w what was going on when you when you miss your spots well miss your spots you know you just got to get back to it and, and attack the spot figure out why you missed your spot so that, that happened a few times um, you know and, and that happened a little bit in the first inning so yeah location is one thing the quality of the pitch is one thing but then uh, grow, you know also when that you're saying okay but three out of the first four pitches were swung at, you know, and, as heaters. So then you just counter and go, okay, let's start to get ahead with breaking balls. In the second inning, I, I, I was missing a little bit with it. But the third inning, we got in there. We started landing the slider for a strike, curveball for a strike, change up for a strike, um, and just mixing with those th those three off speed. And then it just makes the fastball play up that much more. So it was that that's more what I was, what I was referring to to the counter yeah. is just you know they're going heater. So let's just start to spin and throw the other stuff in there. What about when you do get ambushed like that? I mean, it happened quick, you know. You're down, in, you're down in the bullpen. That's why you really got to be ready. You go down to the bullpen, you know, you, you come out, it's the first thing. Every dugout's pretty relaxed in the first thing, right? And all of a sudden, boom, 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 home run, <laughs> yeah. uh, bullet, bullet. Yeah. How do you get yourself, what do you tell yourself, how do you get yourself? back on track well it's going out there and just assessing really what you did right it's like okay fastball the stuff everything felt coming out of my hand today felt really good so it's like it's not it's staying in my delivery i'm, I'm throwing it the way i want to but we got to identify their approach if this is their approach then we go out there and we got to adjust that and that's so that's it's 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 staying loose you know in that and just knowing what i do was i attacking yeah was i throwing the ball where i want to i could could have been a little better with that but then you know they're attacking the heater so they're attacking the heater let's just counter we got three good off speed then let's throw it and make them adjust again and that's that's what we did you know that's what having a guy like wilson back there man he's he's awesome and he's got so much experience so it's fun to you know have an opportunity like this in this kind of game where you know we get to experience it first time you know we experience this isn't in april but it's it's right now so it's awesome do you have to like shake yourself to make sure you don't get too far ahead of yourself because i know about this time you start to think about how many days are left in that opening day and who may be pitching on that day do you start doing that yet there's and is that okay oh you, you know we all know that you know our our our, our first starts are going to be in that first week of the season so we know that's going to be there we, we, we you know if we're driving down the road we see that road sign if you will but uh but our, our focus is only, you know, on this next 200 feet, this next, you know, where we are right now and, and how we can be right there. So uh, it's, uh, yeah, we know it's there and we're excited. We're hoping that we're going to have, you know, as many fans as we can. This opening day in Detroit is so special and that opening week is so special. But, uh, you know, we're being present right now. We have a lot of a lot of, uh, a lot of days left, a lot of opportunities to get better. Um, and we're just, you know, going to make the most of those. And uh, that, time, that time will be here when it comes. Good jump by Daz Cameron to steal second base as he pinch runs from Miguel Cabrera visiting with Matthew Boyd. Uh, this team seems like it's gotten together and been close from the very get-go. Um, and I know you're a big part of that. In the offseason, you had Tarek Skubal and Daniel Norris out at your place. What was that like? It was so much fun. Um, you know, I mean, Daniel and I, we go, we go way back and it's just fun to have you know, uh, be around him at any time, and, and Tarek. You know, we we just we, all three of us kind of had a great time hanging out and uh, 
training together, you know, really pushing each other in the weight room. Uh, I'm working out with Tarek, man. That guy's a that guy's a bull. It's just he just he moves weight. So it's uh it's fun to have him challenge uh you know, challenge me and, and you know and, and everyone knows that Dino's just uh he's always a freak in the weight room too and then pick our pick each other's brains. We're doing the pitch design type of thing. Um we went to drive line and did some pitch design together and you know, just played cash together, threw bullpens together, and just working off each other. You know, Tarek was working on a changeup, and then he ended up throwing a splitter there. And then, you know, that became his thing. Dino was trying to make his fastball spin more efficiently. That's what I was trying to do, too. You know, I was working on my changeup as well. So all those things, you just you just build off each other. And it's like inexpensive experience. You watch Daniel do something. I can. I was like, oh, wow, maybe I can work on that. Maybe I'll try that, you know. And then, you know, it's it's, it's like a testing ground. So it, it just it was a great atmosphere. And uh, both those guys are great with my kids too they, they, they were kind of in like uncle mode so it was a lot of fun yeah and you know matt um uh, matt shepherd's thinking but that'd be kind of cool to hang around there but he's got no shot he's not left-handed right <laughs> <laughs> we could we could invite an honorary right-hander in there so you know it, it, you could you'd be part of it matt if you wanted to all right well i appreciate that thank you see gibby's a lefty too so he wants to make sure i'm excluded <laughs> I didn't, I it just, it just <laughs> the chance that things like that happen sometimes Thanks, Matt, for joining us, and continue the good work, and we'll see you when we get back up. Hey, thank you, guys. Yeah, can't wait to see you up north. All the, all the best to you and your family. Mira and Isaiah call uh, Daniel Norris, I think, Uncle Daniel, right? Yeah, Uncle That's Daniel, yeah, yeah. Except, except they, they thought he was Santa Claus with that beard he showed up. <laughs> anyway, so so it's, uh, it's, it's, it's changed up now, but, yeah, now he just has the flow in the back, not in the front. So That's, that's great stuff. Yeah. All right, stay healthy, my friend. Right, good to see, see you. See you, fellas. All right.